was Shotzi doing? I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops? I'm going to be out for months. Is that really all you have to say? How about oops? I got carried away booking matches, but forgetting to manage people. At least that seems to be the case, based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then, I caught wind of a few questionable developments. We should talk. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the War Games cage. Fair point. And perhaps, even more egregiously, you announce War Games without me. That's my thing. I announce War Games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being Raw GM. I accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw. Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship, me. Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now! After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is, thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait, how did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of let's have a War Games match at Survivor Series and didn't even put me in the match? But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This, apparently, is just what you do. Playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? That's Bailey's music, but where is she? 
Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind. Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Here we go. We thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender apparently upset certain members of the locker room. Yeah, at least the ones who felt they were more deserving coming out of that War Games match. Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off, while two of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. The women's world champion is the real winner here. And a lucid Bailey there. Look out! Oh, slingshot to the outside with a clothesline. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Somebody's got to put a stop to this. Bailey is now under pressure. It's like a muzzle's being placed on Bailey's offense. Oh! One time. She heads into the ring. And now she's looking to go top rope. First up top. Whoa, look out. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Flying. Oh, God. Taken to the air and completely wiping out. Ooh, slam. With authority. And able to beat Bailey to the punch. Oh my goodness! Oh man, meeting the barricade! Oh, the reversal by Bailey. She will wisely return to the ring now. Way up high into the PK. She's losing some steam now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Finding their way out of this position will create separation. Oh my goodness! And a well-executed move we just saw there. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. The kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Oh my goodness, dribbling the up. She can end it here. And she breaks free before a one count. She just shocked everyone in the ring. She had it scouted. This can't go well. Cannot finish Bailey. challenge anyone's character when they kick out of that maneuver. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. Good defense. Ooh, targeting the leg there. She catches Bailey with a counter. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Up high! Oh, wait a second. Caught in midair! Targeting the throat there. Turned that one around. Oh, my gosh! Arm trapped. Oh, one after the other. 
And she's gone after her opponent's goal a few times now. Devastating kick. close to three. Monster set up in the corner. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Set up for a second time. Uh-oh. She fights her shoulder up before one. for the captain here tonight. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Shotzi from behind with that crutch. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Much in the leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book but then shut her out of? I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion, and everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm, who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez. Whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. This is a moment of destiny for a woman who spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena, Michael. Waiting on the champion here. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. Oh boy, here we go again. 
Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. And it looks like she's had about enough of it. No, no, guys, guys, it's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contenders match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show, when suddenly, out of nowhere, three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up, excited to meet the women's world champion. And you know how Bianca is. She wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph. How those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight, we may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Are you seriously booing children? Wow, what a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh no, it's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action, just like at War Games. But these three women do not. Oh my, the cap has history with all these women. And we're getting word from the truck that she'll be facing them in a fatal four-way. I think she said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Shotzi's curated a formidable challenge for the number one contender. Honestly, I'm just impressed that Shotzi managed to curate this match and three busloads of children in the same day. What? That was Shotzi? For God's sakes, catch up, Byron. Nonetheless, this is going to be a huge fatal four-way contest here on Raw. Like you said, Corey, Cap definitely has a target on her back due to her history with these three other superstars. I'm just wondering, after all these false starts, if Cap will ever make it to her title match with Bianca Belair. I think that's Shotzi's exact goal, Saxton. Ouch! Tagging this outside. This could be good. Re-entering the ring now. Firm control. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Able to avoid any harm there. Suppressed. Asuka certainly being tested here. 
Ooh. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Can she score the pin? She gets a quick kick out there. She's still in this one. Oh, what a close line. Sent into the corner. Turning the tables. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. Taking it outside the ring now. Continues. She returns the favor there. Oh no, she could be caught here. Bad situation for her. No. She wants it one more time. Oh, driver, you gotta be kidding me. I am so glad I put money on her tonight. There's the crucifix, nicely done. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Oh, and we see the attention being put on the torso. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. Rhea Ripley. 
likely looking for the submission. Look at this power. The prism trap is. She is determined to escape. Can't believe it. It's nightmare takedown. Oh, roundhouse kick. She sent flying into the corner. In the corner. Got a kendo stick wrapped around the head. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. Liv Suplex, but that's not all. Into a rip point lariat, what a combination! But now Ripley. Dropping bombs, trying to escape, and they do. Matches the arm into a takedown, armbar a plot. Uh-oh. We're gonna see it. What power. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Placed into the corner. This could be big. Wow, this one is all but over. Makes the cover. Sure. I don't know what more you have to do to keep Rhea Ripley down here. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. And the sleeper, she breaks the hold. another look at why the Fatal 4-Way is one of the most unpredictable and entertaining matches in WWE. Here is your winner, the captain, Jackie, the legend. What an edge of your seed ending to this Fatal 4-Way.